Nice, nice. Hi everyone, this is Jichu. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today, where are we in? April 2nd, 2023. And uh, welcome to another cooking live stream. I hope you're doing well. It's been a while since we did one of these. I can't remember which one was uh, we did the last one, um, but it's been a while. So glad to be back in the kitchen. We're going to do a lot more cooking live streams, I think, in uh, spring and summer. Um, now that I got my setup back <laughs> again. Uh, so it should be a fun time. Lots of uh, prepping to do, for sure, canning and whatnot. Um, but today, what we're going to do, we're going to cook some ribs, pork ribs and um, beef ribs. Okay. And we're going to make some armenian persian funeral halva which is um, uh, funeral food basically of uh, i've mentioned this in a previous live stream i've we've known like five people that have passed away in the last year so i thought it was time uh, to learn how to cook some uh, funeral food so i got the recipe for my mom and tried out uh, I think we've done it like four times now, four or five times, <laughs> trying to, you know, modify it a little bit and mess around with it. Uh, the Kez, how are you doing? 1998. Hope you're doing well. So we're going to go through one iteration and uh, fingers crossed it should be good. Uh, I took it to one funeral and it was a hit. So that was great. Slick Mick 99. Hope you're doing well. Indeed, indeed. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, also, it's, it should be a fun stream. I'm looking forward to it. As you know, I love spending time in the kitchen. I spent a lot of time in the kitchen, so uh, it'll be good. Uh, what we're going to do is um, I'm going to pour myself a drink right now. We'll wait until the notifications come out uh, or go out. Uh, but we're going to have to kick uh, kick this in pretty fast. There's some prep time. Uh, prep. Uh, I have to do minimal prep to a certain degree. But the beef uh, ribs, uh, we've got beef short ribs, really nice ribs, actually. Uh, except there's, I'll show you a little issue that I had with the butcher. But um, really nice uh, grass-fed uh, beef short ribs. And I've never cooked short ribs the way we're about to do it. So fingers crossed it'll work out well but it has to be in the oven for about uh, two and a half to three hours so we're going to be here for a while okay we also got uh, uh sort of barbecue ribs beef barbecue ribs and we got pork ribs pork ribs uh cook faster so we're sort of going to do it uh tier system and once we get all the uh ribs into the oven then we're going to cook the halva Okay, and we've got some potatoes to cook and whatnot. We'll see. We'll see what we can get done. I got a whole bunch of stuff prepped here. How much we could get done? <laughs> Nine hundred ninety. Hope you're doing well, Sergio. Cho, any experience planting, cultivating uh, bell peppers? Found some California Wander three hundred TMR bell pepper seeds uh, from. Uh, the link doesn't show up. I haven't, but my partner has. Um, and pawn on our gilded server uh, da, 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 where's our gilded server oh yeah i should do my intro too on our gilded server he's cooked a lot of peppers uh not bell peppers spicy peppers and stuff but if you want to go to gilded server and like topics food and cheryl is knows knows how to cook how to cook knows how to cook but knows how to uh grow plants so if you ask a question there there are people um, that can answer your question for sure um, and as a quick intro gang if you want to follow this work I'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho uh, if you like the work you can support the work there we also have a sub stack page you can support the work there and a subscribe star page uh, for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon and on sub stack and on twitch uh, and the handful of people that are supporting us on uh, sensor to membership gang thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do what it is that we're doing and i hope you like the content we're jumping everywhere and uh sort of uh, uh that's our style i guess sometimes we spend a fair bit of time on a certain topic uh, a certain type of live stream and then we move on and we've done a lot of politics economics lately but we're about to move on to a lot of the other stuff as well uh, so gang, thank you for the support. Mods, mods, mods. Thank you for having our backs and being here. 
Uh, I'm not sure if any mods are here right now. I don't think notifications have gone out. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, sometimes the notifications, I, I think notifications didn't even go out last time. So we'll see if they go out this time. But uh, we're going to be here a while. So I'm pretty sure mods uh, will be popping in. So when the mods pop in, gang, thank you very much for having our backs. Uh, we do announce these last streams, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour before we go live on Twitter, Minds, BK Gap, Parlor, and Getter. Uh, you can follow the work there. Um, you can get your notifications there and stuff like this. And uh, da, 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 what else we got? What else we got? For live streams, when we don't have any visuals, the audio is uploaded uh, to soundcloud.com forward slash Chicho as a podcast. And those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform. Okay. Uh, aside from that, let me take these down. Uh, 990. By the way, hope you and yours are processing and digesting nicely fresh veggies and foods through your digestive system indeed <laughs> that's to everyone salute gang salute let me take these guys down thank you very much for follow skip on and welcome to our live stream gang let me uh i'm gonna pour myself a drink we're gonna be here a while might as well enjoy, enjoy, <laughs> turn over, chest, liqueur, liqueur. <laughs> Check this, out. this is our plum liqueur that we made last year. I, I had a couple of, a uh, little bit last night, a little, little bit last night. Crazy, delicious, on the rocks, tart. It's not very sweet. It, these are tart uh, plums. Okay. So good. So good so super super dangerous and these are our camera angles gang um, here let me pop these up bop, 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 boink, boink. so this is our one angle we have here and we've got another one going here uh, but I'll pop these up uh, once we get on it right Ch -ch -ch. and we're gonna do some frying up garlic and butter and what do you call it uh, oh i forget what the word is a word popped out of my head but we're going to take uh, the ribs and s sear them sear them a little bit just one set of ribs and uh before we put it in a casserole dish but i'll show you guys what we're about to do okay let me take this down let's just pour ourselves a drink like <laughs> this thing's magic like crazy magic crazy magic and I found that uh, in this glass, it it worked out well. <laughs> it worked out well. And big ice cubes. Uh, a legit cooking show. Mr. Brain Freeze. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah, let's put this guy here. Here's our glass. A legit cooking show. Yeah, we'll put a little guy in there too. Choink. So, I need uh, this thing to Peanut Butter Pumpkin Party. How you doing? Or Platonic Pluris, How are you? And glass of prepping tips <laughs> and glass for prepping tips. Uh, oh, dang it! Although this is a uh, peanut butter pumpkin party, this is good. I saw the food and drink title and hope for liqueur. Wow, we're drinking liqueur. <laughs> we're drinking liqueur. Oh, wait, yes, there is. Uh -huh. uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a little plate like this. Uh, yeah, this will work just to hold it. So, the way I scoop. The alcohol out of this i just use these measuring cups right and this is vodka right uh, and sugar okay. we're going to do two of these uh, this is i think it's a half a cup thing so this should last us a while but really it, it is crazy delicious and extremely dangerous you could drink this like really crazy fast we're not going to 
Okay, cheers, gang. I'm gonna let the ice cubes melt in there a little bit. Okay, cool down the liqueur. Turn over chest. I've been following you for years and I've been making a lot of liqueurs uh, since nice. What impresses me uh, the most is that the fruits never lose a weight. You just need to pick them up uh, and top up with uh, sugar and alcohol. Yeah, at some point they'll lose their essence. At some point they do lose their essence, but fruits like this, like the big ones, very slowly, berries more so. Maybe because I go through more iterations of berries. Yeah, but once you get a nice jar going, that jar should last you a long time should last you a long time right um this year this summer i think we're gonna go through and uh clean up some of the liqueurs some of the liqueur jars we have and stuff right plutonic pillars the cook may enjoy one or two while cooking one or two i think maybe we'll just enjoy one of these maybe we'll do two <laughs> but delicious Crazy delicious, crazy delicious. Salute, gang. Wow. So, gang, let's do this. I'm gonna turn on both cameras because we're gonna. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Let me do this. Okay. I'm gonna uh, cut up some garlic, throw it in here with butter. So, let's. Let's get to business. We got some cooking to do. We got some cooking to do. Uh, fruit is just great. Such a uh, diverse food group with so many different ways to use it. Uh, liqueur, uh, liqueur snacks, pies, etc. Yeah, and just straight up eating. I'm a, I'm a fruit nut. I eat a lot of fruit, like a lot of fruit. Uh, maybe because I love sugar, like uh, I like my sugar, but uh, I like my natural sugars, right? and honey being one of them, and maple syrup is fantastic too. Right? We're gonna need to do the garlic. I'm gonna chop up a little bit more garlic because we're gonna use a little bit of garlic in, uh, uh, for the barbecue sauce. Crafter, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. I have to go get fresh garlics. Or not fresh garlics, but I have to get another batch of garlics. This morning, we hadn't noticed that we were running low. Oop, that's good. Get rid of this. I'm just going to transfer these over here for now. Just clean up the. And then dump this. You kind of make me think of John Yuri sometimes. John Yuri, John Yuri, I know that name. Uh, John Yuri. John Yuri, he's the singer for, is he the singer for which band? I forget who it is. You're doing decent-ish? Decent is okay. Some people aren't doing well. Some people aren't doing well. Lounge lizards. Lounge lizards? That's who John Lurie is? I don't know lounge lizards. Lounge lizards. Okay, let's turn. I'm going to turn this guy up. Just going to put it on low. Going to throw butter in there. Okay. Let's throw some butter in there. Now, I've never... And I'm going to put a fair bit of butter, butter in there because I'm going to use this for, 
what we get left to cook up cook up some mushrooms and mushrooms are amazing with butter right Nine hundred and ninety. Hold on. Uh, he did some jazz stuff, I think. Did he? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Lounge lizards. I don't know lounge lizards at all. Honestly, I just know him for uh, some show uh, where he painted. Ah, okay. Nine hundred and ninety guys. What is the best manure, cow or horse? I think chicken is supposed to be amazing. Chicken manure is supposed to be fantastic. After that, I would say cow. Where well, that's what most people use, I guess. Worth cornet, hey Chicho, and everyone else. Not caught a, doo -doo -doo. not caught a live stream since COVID lockdown. So happy to be here. Ah, oh, glad to have you. COVID, oh my God, it's been like three years, two years. The insanity of it, the insanity of it, worth the total insanity of it. Break some of these up. Okay, let's chop these guys up before we do any more. See what we got. Garlic is nice and sticky. When it's nice and sticky, it's good. some liqueur cook some ribs maybe do a little bit of mashed potatoes maybe cook up a little bit of mushrooms make some Armenian Persian funeral halva and let's see what we do this is gonna be my second time elder god how you doing this is gonna be my second time good timing elder god this is going to be my this is going to be my second time cooking uh, pork ribs and the first time was uh, last well a few days ago I guess uh, on a live stream we were doing our patio stream where I was drinking and stuff or we were drinking and we started talking food and I started getting feeling hungry for ribs and I asked Elder God uh, what the best way was to cook the ribs and crack came in uh, with uh, what do you call it uh, with boiling them and then barbecue but I wasn't into the barbecue so Elder God uh, mentioned and um, just put them in a casserole dish water in the bottom some herbs in the water okay and that's exactly the way we're gonna do it and then uh, I put some garlic and honey and mustard sauce on them and then broil them, cook them for about an hour. Man, it came out really good, really good. Like crazy delicious. So that's that's the way we're gonna cook the pork. I've never done beef short ribs the way I'm about to do them. Okay, so let's see how that turns out. And I'll show you the meat. Right now what we're gonna do is, uh, with the garlic, I'm gonna take this, throw it in the pan, okay, let it cook up, cook up a little bit, get it hot, and then sear it. Sear the ribs, the baby, um, baby ribs, beef ribs. Okay. And uh, and then we're gonna line them up in the pan. We're gonna do two different styles. I'm gonna need a little bit more. I'm going to cook up the temperature on this a little bit now. Uh, I'm going to break up a little bit more garlic because we're going to need it for mushrooms most likely if we can get to it. Okay. Let's do the two this too. You could have put honey uh, in the water. Oh, honey in the water too. I put... Uh, I put, I mixed honey, I'll show you what I did. I mixed honey and mustard together in a little 
uh, dish and I put it on top and then broiled it. <laughs> Came out really good. Garlic is, yeah, garlic is a must, a must. Garlic and onions, garlic and onions. You ought to try cooking sausages uh, in the Kuwait desert. <laughs> what happens with sausage in the Kuwait desert? Not even sure if we're going to need this much, but might as well prep it. You were there, eh, Elder God? Craziness. Best desert food. What's the best desert food? I grew up in the desert. Without cooking, without cooking equipment. Yeah, the best desert food. Fruit, lots of fruit in the desert. Yeah. You were basically in part of the world that I lived in as a kid. Very close to it. So hot. So hot. That climate is what I... Uh, what do you call it? what I grew up in. I definitely broke up too much garlic, but you can always use garlic. Cook it up, cook it up. Cook it up, cook it up. Once I'm done this, I'm going to kick up the temperature here. You climatize, yeah. Desert is amazing. I think easier to climatize to the desert than it is the Arctic. Or cold, heat, hot, than cold. And all deserts aren't. Uh, aren't hot of course right definition of desert this is one, one thing i learned doing uh, geology and stuff uh, one definition of desert is just precipitation we're going to use some of the garlic for the marinade on the ribs we're going to do hard honey and garlic as well i'll do a little bit more here because this is the one we're going to use for the mushrooms so we got that going uh let's put this over here garlic over here the knife we can move okay let's see up the temperature a little bit on this okay just get it going let me show you guys the meat we got and let me bring the rack over here so I'm gonna do this okay I'm gonna line this up with these guys let me see if I got a better one longer one okay that's good right yeah that's good so here's the here's the pork by the way okay this is our pork and this was one long piece and i just cut it right so that's our pork we're not we're not going to deal with that yet okay 
We're not going to deal with that yet. Here are the two ribs that we got. I got two different types of ribs. Okay. Got this guy. Classic ribs that you know, right? This is uh, the two pieces of this. Okay. This is like AAA, but it's not grass fed beef, right? And I don't think it's organic. Okay. This one is grass fed local beef. The other one's local as well, by the way. The other one's local as well. This is the short ribs. All right. So take a look. We got three pieces here. Okay. Take a look. So this one needs to be cooking for two and a half to three hours, right? So we're gonna line these up. One of these ones, and check this out, gang. Here's a bit of advice when you go to the butcher. I didn't do this myself. So this piece is great. And then take a look at this one. This one, I didn't notice it, right? So on this side, it looks great, right? Looks fantastic, right? But take a look at this, right? About half of it is fat, or a quarter of it is fat. So I was like, hey, wait a second. I just noticed it when I, uh, this morning, right? So I took a picture. Next time I go to the butcher, I'm going to say, hey, listen, you know, one of the cuts you gave me was all half of it. And I already called them up. And I said, uh, listen, da, da, da. they said, oh, yeah, just take a picture, bring it in. We'll give you a discount, or whatever, on the next one. So I said, okay. So when you're buying from the butcher, you don't want to take home something like this and have to deal with it, right? So when you're going to the butcher, make sure you pay attention to the meat that you're getting. One of the reasons I didn't pay attention, I had to go to four places to find this. <laughs> I went to two local butchers that didn't have it. I went to uh, a grocery store. They didn't have it, like, a, like one of the big chains. And then I went to the third butcher, uh, and they had it, so I grabbed it. Okay. So... Moral of the story, pay attention to your meat, right? Pay attention to your meat. Let me put this guy here, this guy here. Okay, that's good. So, this is getting nice and dark, so I'm gonna... Should be a little bit hot. Get the flavor on there. And once I sear them, I'm going to put them in here. And we can take our time with what we're doing because we're going to, I'm going to put the other ribs in here as well. Okay. El Pita, salutations. Welcome to our live stream. Elder God, no pork. Would be having a fit about now. Oh, your neighbor. Well, there's two religions that I know that don't eat pork, right? Uh, Islam and, Juda uh, and Judaism, right? So Jews and Muslims, they don't eat pork. Or if they're devout Jews and Muslims, they don't eat pork, right? But pork, man, pork ribs are delicious. And bacon is delicious. <laughs> pork chops are delicious, right? up the temperature a little bit more Alfie Alfie how are you doing I also had no idea police uh, judge based on height police judge them based on height people are talking Alfie got teacher I'm surrounded by Muslim <laughs> from what I've heard <laughs> That means that means you can get cheap pork. 
<laughs> Lots of work for Elder God. <laughs> Ida. It's been a while since uh, I, have, uh, I have checked uh, the stream. How are you doing good, Ida? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Doing fantastic. Let's do this side too. Having the bigger, bigger thing to stand them up. Let's see the back side too, and the front side. Nice. Five mile radius of my pub, pub three churches, 21 miles. <laughs> That's a lot of miles. Do you hear the singing on the Sunday mornings? Ooh. Ooh. Come here. Do not forget, do not forget. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange on Wikileaks playlist on censorship. They are in Ramadan, la la la. So it's quiet at the moment. 40 days Ramadan, no? No eating or drinking from sunlight, uh, from dawn to dusk. Dawn to dusk. Let's line these up here. Okay, we're gonna turn that off. Let's put this here for now. I'm gonna crack open the wine. Got some cheap wine. Uh, we need that, we need that, we need that, we need that, we need that. This is gonna go. Sort this out. Till twenty first of April. Wow, wow, wow. Thirty is standard. Eh? I'm gonna do this like this. Yeah, I'm gonna put these guys here actually. Okay. Because I'm gonna cover it with foil, and I this one is a little bit higher. These ones too, I'm gonna to put in the same uh, tray, okay? I have archived 93 days of fasting. Wow, wow, I don't recommend anyone. Whoa, 93 days is a lot. I've done three day full on fast, but 93 days is a lot, man. 
let's check it out. So these ones, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put the big one here. Oops. There's a bigger one that I'm gonna put here. This one's gonna cook much faster. And while I'm doing that, I gotta kick up the temperature on this. So I'm gonna put this on bake. We're gonna put it on 350. As soon as it hits 350, I'm gonna kick it down to 320. Okay. And let's put this guy here. Yes. This one, I wanna marinate with uh, honey garlic. Okay. Honey garlic. So I'm gonna take the garlic that we had there, and the rest of this I'm gonna pour under on top of these when we're ready and then pour a little bit more wine in the bottom right close it up and let it cook for two and a half hours okay two and a half hours salute gang welcome to our last stream cooking okay let's bring this over our garlic let's put some honey on here this is our honey that you guys have seen we, we didn't buy this here we've lost our contact so we have to find a new supply we have to find a new supply let's do this i want to put a little salt on this as well by the way, on these guys just a dash is this a no-no or, or or what elder god salt on the meat before you cook it is that doable eduardo how are you doing why the slideways? Why is the why is the last cooking stream? Why is the last cooking stream? What was the last cooking stream? Let's take a little bit of garlic. This is hard, so I'm trying to get the softer stuff. Let's see if we can mix this up. why is it a cooking stream only to reduce the uh, fat works though works though okay only to reduce the fat really okay okay that's good to know that's good to know uh, because we like eating <laughs> because we love eating to open up the the honey i'm going to show it to you I'm gonna put a little bit of hot water in this. Check it out. Look at this. It's hard, right? So we're gonna put a little bit of hot water in this. Um, I gotta put my teapot somewhere. Here, I'm gonna move this guy. Here, let's get this guy up here. Put salt on everything, especially when I'm on my favorite supplement. Nice. Which supplement? I've tried to reduce the amount of salt I use. So. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit on right now. I'm gonna actually, actually add a little bit more salt. Max fasting I did was one day. Eduardo, one day. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Boy, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Let's put this on. I'm gonna put more of this on when we broil it. Okay. But figure why not let's put some of this on right now 
and then we'll add the wine. Pour the rest of this in there. I'm gonna cover it up, okay? When this thing buzzes, it's about four, uh, 240 right now, 250 right now. When it kicks up to 350, we're gonna kick it down to 320. Put an hour time timer on it, right? Because the pork is gonna take, because this is gonna be in there for two, two and a half hours at least, right? Uh, we might check on the thinner one earlier. So after an hour, we're gonna, I'm gonna put a timer of one hour so when it buzzes, we can prep the pork and put the pork in there. Actually, we'll prep the pork right now. And then we'll put it on the side uh, with the beef as well. And after the hour buzz, we're going to throw it in there. Okay. What was it going to do? Foil. Let's do foil. Apologies if I'm sort of just skimming the chat because just got to keep track of what I'm doing in what order. Oh, forgot to put more wine in there. I almost forgot to put more wine in there. We need more wine in there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Let's check it out. I want there to be a nice layer at the bottom. Okay, I don't want to run out of fluid. So, so far I've used half a bottle of wine. The we got plans for the sauce there. Oh, the gachi show. We served 314 customers today for food. Not that bad, not that bad. How many cooks? How many people work in the kitchen? That includes prep or four chefs. That would be nicely sealed. And only a peak time. Three, 12 to 3. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Let's do this. Let's move this guy over. Uh, this thing is a 315. It's going to kick up to uh, 320 fast. So I'm just going to kick it down to 320. Uh, leave it at 320 and then pop it in. Okay. Salute. Uh, fun. Kitchen time is very good time. Meditation hardcore. Meditation hardcore. Okay. I'm going to kick this in to 320. Okay. I'm going to put the timer on for one hour. Okay. Okay. 
we're on one hour. Let's throw this in. And I'm centering it. Okay. Kicked it up right into the center. Uh, in the middle, for the next hour, it's got uh, the beef gets the center stage of the of our oven right again do not forget do not forget to Julian Assange free Assange free Assange free Assange Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity something that me and you especially in the Western world need desperately for more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or countless resources available online. Salut again to Julian. Center of the oven has the most consistent temperature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, after an hour, we're going to have to move it, shift it, do a little shift on it. Now, let's do this. We need to set this up for our pork. We got this guy. This will work. Okay. So, we need these guys. We don't need these guys. So, the pork and the other um, rib, the beef rib, okay, the smaller one, and the pork, we're going to put in here. I'm not going to marinate them at all. I'm going to salt them a little bit. But we're going to fill it up with water. We're going to put herbs in the bottom. And we're going to put a little bit of rosemary and mint on top of the pork. Okay. So let's uh, fill this up with water. Not fill it up, but the bottom. We're going to have a nice layer in the bottom. Okay. It's the steam, right? That's good. I'm gonna put a couple of bay leaves in there. Actually, we'll put more than a couple. Okay. It will be set by then. The pork cooks easy. Yeah, the pork cooks super easy. Super easy. I'm hoping uh, the beef short ribs, these ones, will also cook just as fast as the por pork uh, but we'll see but we'll see uh, I haven't cooked uh, these ones with pork before uh, so they're thinner so they should cook faster than the baby uh, the short ribs I'm hoping fingers crossed but we'll see experiment experiment bay leaves uh, that add to any curry dish as well yeah yeah we use actually uh, we we end up using a lot of bay leaves uh, for some of the stews that we make, Persian stews and whatnot. This is, uh, by the way, this is mint that I dried last year, right? So we had two of these big jars. This is the last of it. So we went through one and a half of these uh, for the fall and the winter, right? We're going to put some on the pork as well, by the way. But might as well put some inside it. Let it steam with the mint. I'm going to put some rosemary in there as well. Casual halva enjoyer. I'm a heavy duty halva enjoyer versus when it's there. <laughs> it's very fattening. It's butter and flour and sugar, basically. It's super delicious though. We'll be making some. Okay. 
That's good. So let's line these up. I don't know if I can get them, get both forks in here. We should be able to. Let's do some Tetris on this. Come on. too much water but that's good I'm gonna put some mint and rosemary on top of the pork okay. so I just take it Mint on one, rosemary on the other. I'm gonna dump some salt on there as well. Let's do the salt. We're not going to put anything on the beef. And this is just rosemary that we picked from the yard as well, right? We have rosemary bushes outside. So we pick on a regular basis, dry them, and just put them in a the jar and we have fresh rosemaries, right? Rosemary and mint are to the easiest herbs to make sure you have lots of. Uh, they grow so easy and a rosemary bush can be really large, right? Okay, that's it. I was gonna put some thyme in there as well, but we'll leave that alone. We don't need the thyme. And let's cover it up. Hello, God. I had a dream that something is going to happen this week. Watch out on Tuesday. Yeah. I told my partner uh, just yesterday, uh, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. And a few shoes have dropped so far. Yeah. some mashed potatoes as well as some roasted potatoes okay uh, are we having uh, chips as well I I'm gonna make some roasted potatoes uh, like oven roasted with rosemaries and uh, and uh, uh, and mint okay I'm not gonna make french fries uh, we could but I'd rather have oven roasted potatoes mashed but yeah mashed potatoes too I want to make some mashed potatoes on the gravy of the uh, the beef uh, short ribs I'm gonna cook up some mushrooms and then with garlic and then take that 
bring out the gravy, put it together, and then use that with a mushroom, garlic, <laughs> short rib fat as the gravy for the mashed potatoes. It should work out well. I haven't done this before, so we'll see. In my mind, it works beautifully. So <laughs> we'll see. Oh my God, I'm coming over. <laughs> oh my God, says. <laughs> awesome, awesome. So let's do this. Okay, first thing I want to do, I want to break down some of the uh, make some mashed potatoes uh, not mashed potatoes uh, cut up the uh, cut up the potatoes for uh, roasted potatoes small right love mashed potatoes with a good sauce oh it's so good so good lonely piggy how are you doing did i miss much of the stream at all uh i hope i didn't uh you missed the rib part uh, I, we got the rib. Yeah, you missed the prep of the ribs. Okay, so I don't know how long we're in. We, <laughs> we're already in an hour. Wow, <laughs> crazy. Seriously, we're already been going. This is an uh, at an hour. Wow, we're already been going for an hour. Uh, so we did the prep for the beef, the beef, uh, the beef and the pork. Okay, so uh, what do you call it? Uh, there, in, the beef is in the oven. The pork is sitting back there. In about 50 minutes, I'm gonna put the pork in the oven as well. Okay. <laughs> and butter. <laughs> Yum. Yeah, I'll do this. And this we're gonna put in with the, the potatoes we're gonna put in with the pork as well, right? I should actually do this as well while we're doing this. As we're doing this, let's take this on the side. Let's get the mashed potatoes going here. Okay, is this hot enough? Let's put this over here. We don't need this guy no more. Let's bring this out, that there. I want to get the all the baking stuff or the, all the cooking stuff done before we get into making the halva. Chicho, I need more data. What kind of uh, spuds? Um, what do you mean? What are spuds? Potato? <laughs> what kind of potatoes? <laughs> Always love uh, frying up potatoes. For, indeed, indeed. Spuds are potatoes, aren't they? These are uh, these are red guys. I don't know. They're what are they called? I threw a bag away. I forget what they're called. They're they're really easy. These ones here uh, to cook up. They cook fast. Okay. Uh, these ones for mashed potatoes, I'm gonna be using russet potatoes. These ones. I break up, and they cook faster. Right. Uh, these ones are called. Uh, I forget what these ones are called. Um, they're like red they cook fast spuds is british for potatoes <laughs> baby reds are they baby reds i don't know if they're not baby reds they're not baby reds right lonely piggy i just opened twitch after coming back from the gym nice actually ba -ba -ba -ba. actually actually i saw the stream category and had to hop in nice cooking stream uh or feels okay man indeed love cooking love cooking stream so i'll kick this up to high temperature right and i'm cutting this because it it boils faster it, they cook faster and i'm gonna smush them up once they're cooked uh, russet potatoes uh, these guys are great for mashed potatoes 
Uh, that's what I find. And they're good for um, they're good for anything. Russet is good for anything. Uh, these guys are amazing for oven roasted and French fries as well. And with mashed potatoes, you can do so much, so much. Lonely piggy, leaving the skin on the potatoes is the way to go. Yeah, for sure. I wa I've already washed, by the way, all these potatoes. Uh, you know, you do need to wash the pota potatoes when you get them, right? Otherwise, you might be eating a little dirt, right? Fair bit of mashed potatoes. Nice. Let's put the lid on it. Now we can deal with these guys. I'm gonna just throw them in the uh, uh, front. Uh, the what do you call it? The cast iron pan that we use to cook up the meat. Okay. Or sear the beef, right? The ribs. I'm gonna put some uh, carrots in there as well. Once we're done over here, I'm gonna transfer this guy over here and I'm gonna make the halva over here. Okay. This is a it's not a turbo oven, it's easier to control. Peel 10 kilograms of potatoes this morning. Wow, I used the skin uh, for our free chips and the bar. Really, you fry up the skins like deep fry? Oh, those would be amazing. Coming to you from Idaho, the potato state, Idaho, the potato state. Nice, <laughs> awesome. Fida went out uh, uh, for trout fishing today. Nice, caught only one. Uh, blaming the fish uh, for not being hungry. Aha, uh -huh. we'll prepare uh, to eat it later this week. Nice, nice. Big truck can be fantastic. I'm gonna need a hot furnace. It's gonna get hot. Give this a little swirl. Okay. Now, these guys, we don't need no more. Ah, uh, this one we're okay. This one we're not. I'm gonna change the plate on this because because I had the raw meat sitting on it, or not sitting on it, but utensil with the raw raw meat was on it. That way we got that set up. Actually, it's uh, fry first then oven spices really fry first and then oven and spices fry first and then oven and spices so you it's you well i guess you're using a peeler for the peeling so they're thin so they'd be super crispy that you put salt on those things like mad eh get people thirsty <laughs> salute king yeah right size so it compensates a little. Delicious. Okay, so boop, boop, here's the potatoes, right? I'm just gonna cut up some carrots and throw it in there as well. I'm gonna put, put uh, rosemary and here, we'll just put it here and just do it here. We'll put rosemary and uh, mint on there as well. Okay. Hi Sal, what's the food? We've got a kitty cat here. Usually he'll come and sit over there. I don't know if, if he sits over there, I'll take off the camera. Oh, come here. Hey. Sal, this is scoop. What you need? Huh? You doing okay?
Let's do this. Okay, let's put some olive oil on there. Okay, and then mix it up. Oops. That's a little bit too much I put on. That's a little bit too much. That's okay. Just like Quark on Deep Space Nine. <laughs> awesome. With the salt on the chips. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And that's one of the reasons people go to a pub anyway. You want to eat salty and drink beer. You want to feel thirsty. The more thirsty, the better, right? You're not going there to for anything else, really. Conversation, for sure. For sure. Funny, funny. Howard, the cats are doing great. Sal's just sitting here. I'm not going to pick him up. And then there's Via over there, you see him? <laughs> as soon as I go over, he's gonna look at me and go, meow. That means he wants out. Watch this, watch this. Via, hi. You wanna go out? Yeah? You do? Sal, what's the school with you? Come on, let's go. Come on. <laughs> let's go. Yeah. Here, I'll show you guys Sal as well. He's sitting in his position. Watch this. Let's see. There's Sal. It's it's weird. Via never goes there. Sal is the one that just sits there and waits either for food or you're doing your thing or whatnot. All right. I'm just gonna open up the lid for this so it doesn't grow at all. Okay, come on, let's go. You want to go? Let's go. Come on, stretch. That's it. They just woke up. Sal, what's the scoop? You got lots of food. Okay, let me show you to your food. Come on. assume the position the potatoes are boiling gang so I'm just gonna take care of this Here, I'll show you right. I'm just gonna mix them and make sure they're not sticking at the bottom okay. I'm gonna put the lid on like this this lid is dangerous though because it falls over and if you seal it, the potatoes will go, will just spill over, right? Spill over. Actually, I'll leave the lid off. No, no, no. We need the lid on there. Here. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to kick this down a little bit. We don't need to be going back crazy. We'll leave the lid off too. Let's put the mint back. We don't need it no more. Make ourselves some space. And yeah, we'll leave. Let you guys chill with Sal. Uh, we didn't put the rosemary on here. I'm gonna put the rosemary on here. Sal, what's it
potatoes and mint. Okay, now I'm gonna kick up the temperature on this, on the potatoes. Right, as soon as you lift up the lid, it cools down a little bit. Right? dishes in the dishwasher right now just to clear the space okay just to clear the space uh, safety first safety first safety first How are you doing? How much do you uh, do you meal plan? Uh, I'm guilty of my fair share of food waste, but I find it nearly impossible to consume all the produce we buy before it goes uh, it goes bad. Uh, we try to uh, some of us, for sure we lose some we lose some, but there are dishes that we have that. I can make, for example, cuckoo, where you use up a lot of herbs, a lot of greens, lettuce, kale, chard, uh, mint, parsley, cilantro, basil. Greens and herbs, you can just chop up and make cuckoo with them. So we try not to waste that stuff. Uh, there are sometimes, because sometimes we, we've joined a CSA, uh, we get they give us too many carrots, so the carrots just sit there for a while, right? Uh, cauliflower we've lost a little bit uh, over time cabbage lasts a long time so that's good we try to not to waste too much and every now and then every week basically we go through the fridge to see what's possibly could be going bad and uh, we end up using it so we try to use what what's getting older much love chicho for cat also Sven how are you doing <laughs> oh you're doing well salutations guys I was like what's going on here he's out <laughs> he's stretching he's like he's not paying attention to me there he goes he's going to his food and then um, what do you call it uh, he'll go outside and come back a little bit this is sort of around the time that I give them liver. So they're sort of on a set schedule where mid midday, uh, I sometimes give him liver and stuff. Well, I usually give him liver, uh, chunks of liver. So he's like, where's my liver at? Where's my liver at? Ronnie, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, another thing we need to chop up. I need to chop up some uh, mushrooms. So I'm going to chop that up as well. I want to bring out a fork because I want to poke the potatoes to see if they're yeah, the potatoes are good, all right? 
they're cooked up. I'm gonna cook them up a little bit more. Leave the lid off. And I'm gonna dump some of the water, actually. Might be sacrilege, might not be, but it's okay. I left a little bit of water on there in the bottom. Oh, let me show it to you guys. I left a little bit of water in the bottom. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the lid on. Halfway. So the danger of it going is not that much anymore. Right. I'm going to kick it down to medium. Let it cook up a little bit more. We're going to cut up the mushrooms. Okay. We'll cut up the mushrooms. Raytheon. What we cooking? We're cooking ribs. We're cooking pork ribs, beef ribs, uh, and we're making some potatoes, roasted potatoes with carrots. We're making some mashed potatoes. Roasted potatoes. This doesn't go in yet. We're gonna make some mashed potatoes with gravy. We're gonna chop up some mushrooms. Uh, with, uh, we're gonna cook it up with garlic. Okay. And then once the ribs are in the oven, we're gonna uh, we're gonna make some halva, Persian Armenian funeral halva. Okay. I want the mushrooms on the smaller side because it's gonna go into the gravy, really, right? Also, is there uh, is it really safe to dump boiling water into the sink since some sinks have plastic uh, tubing? Uh, yeah, these ones are metal, so it's this is a house from like 1990s. Uh, they shouldn't. Do some houses have uh, that? I've never seen a house. I've, our family was involved in construction a fair bit. Uh, for three decades and never built a house that had plastic kitchen tubing not that I know of I mean I usually first have cold water from the tap going down the sink and so never even thought about it Ray, uh, Ray the only 14 never even thought about it thank you for pointing that out um, yeah, never even thought about it, but that's a good idea. Have cold water going before pouring in the boiling water. Do I have Persian roots? Uh, I do. I grew up uh, in Iran. I was born in Iran. So, uh, Armenian ancestry, uh, born in Iran. Let's throw in mushrooms in this. A little bit more. Okay. Fida, elder god to Fida. I actually spent some time in Tokyo in the night. It's nice. Spen, that's a lovely place and culture. I've heard people are very, yeah, very welcoming. Very welcoming. I can honestly tell you that uh, Iranians are some of the most uh, worldly people you'll ever meet. Like, because I think in large part, uh, it's part of the history because it was part of the Silk Road. So they had many different nationalities travel through Iran and it's been a hub for trade for centuries. So people have grown up uh, being able to deal with all types of nationalities, right? Uh, very welcoming, very welcoming, very hospitable very hospitable safer than most places in the Western world there's no doubt about that uh, 
sorry if I'm uh, talking a bit much, but it's easier. You can just call me Ray. Ray, nice. And no worries, Ray. Uh, if I get busy with stuff, I can't read the chat. My apologies, because food first. And in the kitchen, safety first, I guess, is how God said. Right? Extremely important, extremely important. That's enough. I got a little bit of mushroom still left here, but that's good enough. We don't need this no more. We've done all the chopping, we've done all the chopping. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this stuff. And then we're gonna move the pot over. And we're gonna mush up the mashes, the potatoes. And once it's mushed up, it's all good. And then we're gonna start cooking the halwa. Okay, so. Oh, so Let's do a little transfer. Let's do a little transfer. I'm gonna turn this off, let it cool down a little bit before starting on the halwa, okay? Because I don't want it to be boiling. This, I'm gonna lift up the lid. There's a little bit of water left in there. I'm gonna dump a little bit out. And then I'm gonna mush this this guy up. As Ray suggested, let's do my other. There it is. Put the cold water on before you dump a little bit of boiling water in. this cool down a little bit what I can do I can add the flour so the halva gang this is uh, Persian uh, Armenian Persian halva funeral food okay so um, it requires flour uh, some kind of sweetener I'm gonna use maple syrup and butter uh, or fat I guess if you want to think about it uh, feed chicho in in scale in scale Iran is massive never noted noticed it uh, was such a big it is a big country and it has all the resources it needs to remain sustainable It's one of the few countries in the world that it can provide everything for itself okay uh, like Canada like Russia okay. Ray halva is made from sunflower seeds no no this is a different halva you're thinking about this type of halva It's made from sesame seeds, I believe, anyway. You're thinking about this stuff. This stuff is amazing. Dessert food, oof, so good, so good, so good, right? Like this in the morning with butter on toast is rock and roll, right? Just beautiful. It's a good snack. It's a good snack, right? The halva I'm talking about, the funeral halva, is different. A big, big, big little container of halva. Eh? <laughs> uh, like not the shell, but the meat inside of them. Yeah, yeah. Now look at Chicho. I have seen some serious accidents 
happen in the kitchen from falling onto grill hands first ouch to the uh spitting of the deep fat oh yeah fry to someone's face ouch safety is very important safety is crazy important crazy important there's sal again sal's back yeah kitchen is a dangerous place I have to say, you know, food to die, food to die for. <laughs> yeah, some people have died in the kitchen. There's no doubt about it, right? How would um, instead of the maple syrup, use the, let's say, honey as a substitute? Yeah, 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 for sure. You can use honey as well, right? Some people use water, sugar, sugar water, right? I'm gonna use maple syrup because it's liquidy, it's easy, and molasses. A lot of people use molasses. Maybe we'll make, if we have time, we'll make two types with molasses as well, right? So cane molasses, sugar cane molasses, you can use date molasses, grape molasses. Um, so those work as well. Those work as well. Quiz. <laughs> Salam alaikum. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's what you see there is either, uh, I think it's uh, uh, Persian, uh, but I don't read the uh, Farsi. I don't read Pers uh, Farsi, unfortunately. My dad uh, eats uh, uh, halva a lot, but the one you just put in the fridge, I have Turkish roots. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fida, Armenian, Turkish. Yeah, Persian. Yeah. We love our halva. Halva and butter. I don't know. That's a lot. I'm uh, studying to be a cook. You're studying to be a cook. Cool, cool, cool. Chisho's okay. amateur chef. I'm amateur chef. I'm amateur chef. Love it. We might have to pour us another drink okay let me mush this up all right and then i'm going to add a little bit of butter in there oh elder god no butter no butter we won't add butter we're not gonna add butter. Elder God, what do you put in your mashed potatoes? You don't put butter. What do you put? Oil. Coconut oil? Olive oil? Born and raised in the Netherlands. How's the farmer rallies going? The truckers, the farmers. Vegan butter. You put vegan butter. Okay. Elder God, we're gonna put real butter. You put the word butter in there. Just a little bit, not much. I know it's not even not even a little works. Just a little. Ooh. That's good enough. That's good enough. You can do it. Awesome. 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 Now, I'm not going to add anything else because ideally we're going to be adding uh, the gravy on this, right? So we want it to be just be neutral enough to be able to take on the gravy flavor, right? I'll be going around all the match. <laughs> nice. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close the lid on this and just put it on the side. Okay, I'm just gonna put it on the side because we're cooking a lot of things. I would have maybe done orders differently if we we're gonna eat right away, but we've got halva to cook as well, right? Okay. 
gotta cook up the mushrooms. Okay, so we're gonna do mushrooms and garlic a little bit. I gotta cut up some more garlic actually. Uh, gluten free gravy, gluten free gravy. Uh, I think so. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna put any. Uh, well, potatoes is not gluten, it's starch. So, yeah, I think it's gluten free. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna. Uh, what are we doing? We're doing this. Okay, let's put this guy here. I can put this guy here now. Okay, Sal's already taken off. He realizes I'm busy, so the mushrooms we can wait a little bit to do. I'm gonna put this. We're gonna start cooking the halva game. Okay. I'm gonna put this on low. Okay. Low heat. Easy peasy, and it's the whole thing uh, is gonna heat up, right? It's got a smaller element. But I want to heat up the whole thing all the way around and stuff like this. We're going to take three cups of flour. And this is, let's check this out. Gimme, gimme a Ziggy. How are you doing? <laughs> Yo, Chicho, looking healthy, man. How you been? Doing good, man. Doing good. The cooking is awesome. I love it. Right. And a reduction made the uh, staff. Ba -ba 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 evil to hope hope you're doing well <laughs> hi choo choo this is uh, what is this hard soft red wheat this is gluten -y. okay so halva is gluten -y, all got. okay uh, you can make it with uh, gluten free I guess uh, but uh, I haven't yet no yeast or flour added no 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 i'm not going to be adding yeast or flour to the stock gluten-free uh gravy yeah 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 it's so it's going to be i could add we have potato starch i could add potato starch but i'm not going to okay uh maybe i don't know we'll, we'll see how how it comes out right so gang i'm going to put three cups of flour okay one i might put two and a half Let's see. I'm going to put two and a half cups of flour. Okay. So two and a half cups of flour. And we put this on low. So what we're going to do, we're going to constantly mix this. Uh, so the flour doesn't get stuck on the bottom and doesn't burn. Okay. Because basically we're smoking up the flour, right? Roasting the flour. Okay. Evil uh, told you, if you were a true uh, patriot, you would only consume food issued to you by the slave. <laughs> Keep the politics on the politics stream. <laughs> but indeed, uh, if you're a true uh, NPC, <laughs> salute, gang. funny 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 okay I'm gonna clear up my space here a little bit I gotta get rid of this I gotta get rid of that I'm gonna put a bowl out in the sink put some water in it and put the utensils that are gonna be easier to clean when they soaked a little right so this guy, in you go. Mm, no, we don't need this guy. We don't need this guy. And uh, with that guy, we need uh, this guy. Maybe we need. Nah, we don't need this. We don't need that guy either. Just cleaning up my space a little, right? Just cleaning up my space. Uh, now we got potato flour, also known as potato starch, is a white flour used to thicken soup, stews, and even take light uh, sponges and biscuits the potato flour or start uh, potato starch is extracted with the potatoes over a lengthy process and then is milled into a fine white powder yeah it's fine white powder it's uh, it's actually very handy uh, 
Looking forward to this melee one the most says. <laughs> white powder, you say white powder, white powder. Oops. Okay, let's do this. So wooden spoon. Keep it in there. Mix it, mix it. Okay. I need to cut up some garlic, so I'm gonna cut up a little bit more garlic. Just a little bit. We're gonna fry this up, cook the mushrooms, and then we're gonna mix it in with the potatoes. Okay. I changed my mind. We're not gonna mix it in. Ah, maybe we'll mix it into the gravy. Use it as a potato, not potato, but uh, just have to see what the gravy is like from the ribs coming out from the casserole dish. Not sure. Haven't done it before. <laughs> Boy, my life is a potato meat. Are you a sweaty potato, Void? Sweaty potatoes. You don't want to be a sweat, sweaty potato. Let's drop this up. Turn this up. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in there. Let's make this. Then I'm gonna kick up the temperature a little bit on this. Okay. Gotta be gentle with this. Let's put this here. Dangerous balancing act. are enjoying their time. Okay, let's keep this up. Put this on the handle, cast iron. As soon as you got a cast iron on the stove, being heated, put put a cloth handle on it. Okay. So you don't accidentally go, oops. Right? I've known people that do this uh, or have done this. Uh, not nice. Not nice at all. Not nice at all. We're gonna have to pour ourselves a new drink. While this thing's melting, I'm gonna do it right now. Need a little bit of ice in there. I think I'm gonna do the grape. This is the grape liqueur we made, right? Sweet. 
Real MC Mike. Yo, Chicho, what's going on? I'm cooking, uh, cooking up a storm, brother. Cooking up a storm. Elder God, in this country, uh, you got to plant the seed first. Then, uh, when you get the potato, you get the product. Then, when you get the product, <laughs> you get the powder. <laughs> Sounds like Scarface. <laughs> Awesome. And then once you get the, what was the last one? Once you get the powder, then you get the money. Once you get the money, then you get the girl. Once you got the girl, then you get the world. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Where's our, oh, your garlic's right here. That's where it is. Let's throw the garlic in there. Something like National Potato Day. Is it? National Potato Day. I didn't even know there was a National Potato Day. When you're cooking out the halva, once the flour starts heating up nicely, I'm kicking it up a little bit more. Now it's sitting at four out of nine, right? Or four out of ten. Um, you you'll get the smell of it, right? This is slowly getting there, slowly getting there. Actually, no, okay, let the sizzle kick this up a little bit. We need a lid. We can use this guy, which is fine. Oh, we're gonna pour ourselves a drink. Let's pour ourselves a drink. Right, I'm just gonna use my little thing again. This buzzer is about a minute away from going, so we're gonna put the pork in there. Alfie, this coming Saturday, I'm doing my fourth round with woo -hoo. six grams this time. Woo -hoo -hoo. Uh, heroic dose. Salute. Good luck. Love the ceiling fan. <laughs> oh, thanks. buzzer okay we're gonna put the the pork in the oven as well I'm drinking this one here this one is our grape liqueur that we made last year a few months ago fall right so if you check for our liqueur videos uh, it should be there okay we made this live during the live stream 
super delicious crazy that goes down crazy fast and it's vodka and sugar sitting in great right super yummy so let's do the speedy gonzalez we're gonna do three things right now we're gonna put the pork in there and we're gonna put the potatoes in there too close it and let the heat up Everything's going to be slow cooked. I should cook, kick this up to, let's kick it up to 350. Okay. Kicking up to 350 because we're limited on time. Might be limited on time. Okay. Oh, I gotta mix this. Next thing. I can't read the comment right now. <laughs> Let me do this. kick this down a little bit because it's turbo it cooks actually uh, nah, that's good that's good enough uh, can I ask you is it true veganism is pushed uh, ABS prompted by the elite to make the population unhealthy um, there is a theory about that yeah yeah personally uh, my body my uh, lifestyle would not do well with veganism. Uh, I require meat, right? Some people assume that's the case, right? Uh, there is evidence towards that. Fida, ah, cool. Yes, I know. Uh, ever uh, made uh, even made my strawberry liquor thanks tribute is all strawberry liquor is crazy good eh <laughs> like wow wow so delicious we're gonna cook this down nice that's good that's doing good that's doing good slideways what would you say the strength of that drink is uh, this is uh, no it would be basically 40% this is 40% with sugar right it's like we just put vodka in it so at maybe 38% but it wouldn't really go down too much from 40% lots of different aromas right now mixing together from the mushrooms from this from the oven what i do with the halva when you're doing this you want to move it and see a little bit of browning at the bottom it's not there yet The smell is there. We're definitely in that stage right now. Right? Uncle, go to the gym. Yes. Because slowly we're going to start adding the butter. So check this out. Here take care of this guy for a second Slide it now. Let's, let's check this out yeah we're getting a little bit of browning right now okay a little bit of browning
Now, I need to chop up the butter. Okay. Now, how much butter we're going to use? I'm taking a 250 gram butter. Okay. I'm not promoting this grass fed butter though. Okay. You want it to be grass fed. Uh, grass fed butter, butter better. And I'm going to take about half a uh, block of this. So 125 uh, grams of butter, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit more. I watched John Wick last night on my phone. What a great ending of John Wick. Oh, the last one, number four. I haven't watched number four yet. I haven't watched number four yet. Don't, no spoilers, no spoilers. Uh, this is my butter. Actually, I'm going to use a fresh knife because I don't want the flavor to mix it all. And when I'm throwing this in, I'm going to break up the butter, butter so it mixes, melts easy. Okay. Let's make sure. Oh, this is getting a little bit too much. I'm kicking this down. Right. You're getting a little bit of browning. Right. So if it's getting a little too hot, right, if you see it going a little too dark, lift it up the off the stove top right you don't want to burn the flour okay so i kicked it down i'm moving it over right now and i'm going to put some butter in here butter before the sugar okay so forgot to put the timer on here I'm putting 60 minutes on here okay don't forget to put your timers on it was about 10 minutes ago we put that in there right I'm gonna put a little bit more butter Cats are playing. Okay. Now I'm going to switch to a fork. One of the larger forks we have. Right? break it up the butter so all the flour is mixed in with the butter okay now before we go anymore let's deal with this mix this in with the mashed potatoes you know what I'm gonna bring the mashed potatoes and mix them in here okay so let's do it this way change of plans slightly light change of plans we're gonna do this
let's make sure this isn't burning. I put this on low, right? I'm going to add a little bit more butter to this. Now this guy, put our handle there. Very nice, garlicky, and it's got the mushroom flavor in there. Hopefully we get lots of gravy from the ribs. Okay, this, we're gonna put on the side. I'm gonna flatten it out and it's gonna give it a little bit of crispiness to the base of the potatoes. Right. But I'm gonna turn it off. Okay. So we don't need to do anything else with this guy. Now let's deal with this. And remember, this is turned off now, right? Chisho Cheryl should be here shortly she has uh, mom duties yeah no kidding i'm amazed that she's able to uh come to uh, so many of our streams mom duties is serious business you can't mess with the mom duties okay let's do what i'm gonna do i'm gonna because we're gonna need that space i want to do this What I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this. The extra mashed potatoes we have, I'm just going to put it in a container. Okay. Because we can use it later. Right? So I'm just going to transfer it into this guy. Okay. Get it out of the way. Need the space. Limited on space here. Okay. Let's make sure this guy is not burning. I'm gonna add a little bit more butter to this. Okay. So we added approximately 200. A uh, little bit less than 200, 175 grams of butter. Up to 200 grams of butter. Okay. You can definitely substitute uh, butter, coconut oil with butter. Okay. Okay, that's it. Let's break this. So we got this much 
mashed potatoes left to use later on for another dish if we want. And I can just take this, put it in the sink, put water in it, easier to clean later. Soak it. Right? give this a whirl as soon as we're done with this we're gonna add uh, maple syrup to this Let's put this, here. this guy I'm gonna take off put it here because we will need the space to, I'm just gonna do this, give it a little wipe, okay. Because we're gonna set the halva in a plate, so I want the space uh, to be available for us, okay. Are we into official overtime? What are we in? Oh yeah, we, we planned out three hours for this live stream the odds are we're probably going to go to four <laughs> 375 grams of elder god killer that's the that's the what do you call it the butter funny funny top fiver how you doing hey chicho hey gang nice to see you all indeed happy sunday gang happy sunday salute salute crazy delicious crazy delicious okay gang see the texture for this the halva is crumbly, right? Falls apart, easy peasy, right? It's mixed nice, right? And it does stick together when you squish it, right? So that's what you want. Now, this is like, I don't know, about the sixth time that I'm making this. I just started learning how to do this in the last three weeks or so, okay? Ch -ch -ch -ch. So let's do maple syrup. This should go pss, sizzle, sizzle. Okay. Be careful you don't hurt yourself. I should have measured this, by the way, gang, um, because it's hot, right? I should have measured this. I should have told you how much I'm going to put in here. But approximately, I wrote it down here. Please, what's the scoop? What is it? You're hungry. Uh, it's gonna be about one cup of maple syrup, okay? But I'm adding it slowly and mixing it, and I know the feel for it, right? So that's what I'm doing with this right now. Getting it to a level where it feels So this recipe is three cups flour, uh, white flour or whatever flour you want. I'm, I'm using sort of hard white. That's what it's called. Uh, 150 to 200 grams of butter, depending on your taste. Uh, one cup of maple syrup. Now, if you don't want to add that much butter, you could do this with coconut uh, oil. Okay, coconut butter. You can make this vegan as well. Don't add butter. Uh, do it with, uh, what do you call it? Uh, olive oil, okay? Cheryl, how you doing? Are you gang made it? Happy Sunday, <laughs> happy Sunday. <laughs> Everyone's coming in, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. What I need to do now is taste it. Make sure the sweetness is there. Whitney, <laughs> Whitney Houston like the hard way. <laughs> Poor Whitney Houston, man. Addiction, not good, not good, not good. I'm just taking a little chunk. See this? Right. 
I just want to taste it. Sal, what's the scoop? How are you doing? Are you doing okay? Here. Sal is here, by the way, again. Oops. There's Sal. He's just chilling. Chilling like a villain. Nice. Sweet. I'll probably add a little bit more in the cup. Now, while this is hot, we have to flatten it. So, let me bring out something that I can put on top. Apologies about the noise again. Let me put that there. Let me put a little water on top in it so if it's hot, it doesn't burn. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay. Or the oven here. Right. So this is what we got right now. Right? So I'm turning this off. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a plate on top of here and we're gonna flatten it place it and we're gonna do do half of it with chocolate on top okay now we're gonna do the speedy gonzalez style because because we don't want to lose the heat on it Gotta be careful with this. Okay, so basically, oops, pour it in there and start flattening it. Oops, we got spillage. Messy, messy. To do is flatten this guy out right? even it out as well okay it's like construction really when you're working there's times when you have to make sure your ground is level A bit more here, so I'm gonna get the rest of this. Before I smooth out the whole thing, I'm going to put chocolate on half of it. Chocolate chips on half of it and press it in. And the heat of the flour of the halva is going to melt the chocolate chips in. And I'm leaving it like this, grainy, because it'll stick to it. Right? We can take down this video. So let's say half a cup, half a cup of chocolate, chocolate chips. Do 
distributed evenly. Okay. Mm, let's, get this. let's put this guy away. We'll have this out. Now, with Halava, you gotta wait until it cools for you to eat it. I mean, you could eat it when it's warm, but cool down is the way to go. But you do want to cut it when it's hot, but not this hot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, so that's the chocolate chip. This side, I'm going to flatten out. Just use it. So it's not as grainy. Some people make the halva, it's uh, a lot of halva that you eat. It's got more butter, it's more uh, it's softer. I'm making it mine like crumbly a little bit. Uh, as my partner said, it's like the best short, uh, shortbread, shortbread biscuit she's had. off again okay. now we need to let this cool down a little bit before we can cut it what I'm gonna do I'm gonna clean up my space here a little bit more I'm gonna get rid of the butter because we're done with the butter Sal and Beer are down here right now. What's going on? You want a little bit of liver? I think I've got time to give you guys some liver. Let me do this. Let me have a sip. Salute, gang. We're just going to take a little liver break for the kitty cats. I'm going to bring the liver and just give it to them there. Okay. So you see, and that's their spaceship pooper. <laughs> oh my God, he's behind. <laughs> Hi, Sal. We keep their liver in a jar. It's like doggy liver, and we break it up for them and give them little pieces. Come on, over here. Come, come, over here. Over here, come on. This one is Sal. Sal can eat bigger pieces. One more? 
Sal eats twice as much as Via. He's a beast. <laughs> He's a beast. <laughs> okay, let me give this this space a little bit of a wipe, gang. Yeah. It's it's uh, it's messy, so it's my my workspace is usually cleaner than this. In general, I clean as I go. A clean space workspace is a safe workspace. We need to cut this. Okay. Let me show you what it looks like. Take a look. Right. So it's hot in the bottom. Okay. So I'm gonna cut it, and then because I want to cool, I want it to cool down faster. Um, I'm gonna put it in the fridge. Right. Usually don't put it in the fridge because it stresses out the fridge. But let's bring out a. knife to a certain degree ah, this should do let's do a little bit of on the ground here so I'm just gonna pick it up that way I'm not crunching yes. so let's cut this baby might be a little too early to cut it but we'll try <laughs> I'm gonna go straight down the middle. Okay. Let's see. Give you guys a bigger, bigger video on it. And the chocolate, I've never done. Our family usually didn't didn't do chocolate on top, right? Let me see if this is hot stuff. One person that's come to our live streams from Iran and uh, Sanchez and uh, he told us in Iran they do with chocolate as well so we try chocolate yeah that's chocolate so you want to cut it at this stage because otherwise it becomes too hard And you gotta go gentle, you don't want it to break apart. If you add more butter, it doesn't break break apart as much as this, right? But I'm reducing the amount of butter. Cut it with the chocolate part. 
없어. that is really melted look at this right. Not the most professional cut, but it works. Okay. This is a no no in the kitchen, professional kitchen. We're not a professional kitchen. I want to put this in the fridge, let it cool down faster rather than not, right? Dev, I stepped away for a moment. Are we cooking directly on the glass top? I've never, no, no, this is, I put it in here, put it on this just to, um, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, form it, I guess, right? Now we're supposed to let it cool down. Now this is hot, but I'm gonna put it in the fridge because I want it to cool down uh, sooner rather than not, but we still have time. That was our time factor. You know what, maybe I'll let it cool down a little bit by itself. That way we're not stressing out the, the fridge. And what we'll do is uh, in about 10 minutes, we'll put it in the fridge. Okay. This is, yeah, that's nice. I gotta take a look at what's going on inside here. Okay. Let's take a look at what's going on inside here. Where's my gloves? Yeah, I know. Sorry, Deb. <laughs> That's a P41 violation. That's a P41 violation, is that what it's called? <laughs> Here's our roasted potatoes, okay, and carrots. Keep it in there a little bit longer. Yeah, we'll put it back in there for a little bit longer. I'm gonna clean up my sink as well. Okay, okay. Let's see. Last time I cooked the pork ribs at 400, right? And then I broiled them. So, Hopefully, cooking it at 350 um, will work. But I'm just gonna clean up the space here a little bit, okay, gang? Uh, I'll be with you in about five minutes. Salute.
We got Via going meow meow. Gotta have a clean workspace. Gotta have a clean workspace. <laughs> no, that's the, the, the nothing turn. The, the, the round guy. <laughs> that's a that's a cat pooper. Automatically turns. Is is that the one that turned, Lonely Figgy? That way we don't have to do as much. <laughs> And kitty cats are playing. Kitty cats are playing. Okay, I'm gonna put the halva in the fridge. Let it cool down. Okay. Look again. All right. 
So it's cooler to the touch, which is good. What is the artwork on the right of the door? This guy? And those guys, those are buckets, honey buckets. They're like these kinds of buckets. We use, uh, we bought these in honey. And uh, when we finish the honey, we store flour in them, right? Flour or sugar or dried goods. Because it seals really nicely. Yeah, I thought I was going to help Lonely Piggy. Yeah, I thought I was going insane for a second. <laughs> It's a great thing. Wow. If you got a kitty cat, get a get get a kitty get a kitty cat spaceship. It once they go in there, it's got a sensor. So they do their business, they leave within five minutes, ten minutes or something, the thing goes I think ten minutes it needs to set up. Turns around, dumps the stuff in the it's got a little holder in the bottom, and then you clean it once a week maybe or something with it's on the other plane uh and i don't i don't i usually don't do that that's my partner's business uh she does the kitty cat poop taking care of because uh, there are more her cats than my cats she she's very a cat lover huge cat lover um gang i'm gonna do a little uh rest stop break uh, mc my yay chicho i'll be in your uh, province tomorrow going to Dawson Creek nice nice uh, it's serious nature there uh, I've been there many moons ago many moons ago that was wondering about that too but was looking at the other side of the doorway at the piece uh, in the back frame oh this thing this guy it's just a little thing we had it's just, it's a what do you call it one of these guys I don't know where we got it, what what it is, why we have it, but it belongs in the kitchen. <laughs> it belongs in the kitchen. Beard, how you doing? Good evening, good evening. Sorry, I missed the cooking. Was watching a microbiology immunology presentation. Nice. That's good. That's good. And we're still going. We're still going. I'm gonna do a little, uh, little break. I'll be right back. Flower sieve, flower sieve. Oh, you guys are playing. You guys are playing. Oh, 
Okay, so we put that thing at about an hour, 16 minutes left. Uh, oh, you thought it was a banjo. Ah, nice. It does look like a banjo from here. Da link, da link, da link. Sal, what's the scoop? What are you doing? Are you going to meow? Are you going to give us your powerful meow? No? <laughs> He's got such a different meow than Via. It's crazy cool. Crazy cool. Very cool. Very cool. Gang, I want to check out on the... I want to check the ribs. Uh, the pork ribs. So we're going to bring out the pork ribs. The beef ribs I should be checking too because I've never cooked them. I don't want to... You can't really over... Well, you could overcook it, I guess. So the pork... Uh, the beef ribs have been in there about... Uh, hour and a quarter from what i understand it's, it's awesome I'm seeing my Kia. <laughs> uh, so from what i understand it should cook for two and a half hours so it's got another 45 minutes to go the pork last time i cooked for 45 and it wasn't soft enough and i put it back in for about 15 and it was cooking at a higher temp so Let's see, let's see. Hmm. I want to check it. I'm an antsy. I want to check it. <laughs> oh my god, Sal is a living legend. <laughs> I want to check it. We've got to bring out the potatoes anyway. Let's check out the potatoes. Nice. Let's do a little mix on the potatoes. Oh, I should show you guys. I should show you guys. Right? I like to broil this as well, to tell you the truth. But I don't want to mess with the beef ribs. That being said, we can put this back. So we need a plate. Let's put the plate on there. Let's throw this back in the oven. And we're gonna bring out the pork ribs. Mm, I can smell the pork ribs. We got the camera set up here. That's good enough as any. Let's do it. See if it's done. Ooh. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, look at that. Did you see that? This needs to cook more though. So does this. No, they still gotta go in more. Okay. And I think, I think, I think we're gonna pick up the temperature on this. I'm gonna bring out the beef as well. I wanna take a look at the beef as well. great oh yeah these are done wow wow they're done faster than oh wow these are really nicely done 
so oof, this looks I can't turn it take a look because the gravy is there right these look amazing right take a look just to make sure I'm gonna bring out the one that was fatty and I'm gonna cut it to see what it's like because if it is we're gonna have a little bit <laughs> let's check it out let's check it out let's check it out extra extra cook time for uh, liquid added extra cook time for liquid added uh, if not you might get a kick out so let me see if this hot no. okay. let me turn this on Sorry, Sal, you're going out of picture. Ribs first. So, we need a fork. Okay, one of these was the fatty one. Which one was the fatty one? Yeah, this one was the fatty one. Let's see, take a look. There's a chunk of fat there, right? So let's bring this here. I should cover this up still because we don't want to lose the temp on it. Right. Let's check it out. Nice. Nice. Take a look. Let's check it out. Dip it in the juice. Dip it in the juice. Let's see what it's like. I think it's gonna require salt. That is tender. Nice cut. This doesn't need well wow. that's very good let's take a piece of this one as well because I want to see what this one is like as well okay uh, while we're doing this I want to make sure this is good. Remember, we put uh, honey and something on this. Mm. Very good. Let's make us a plate. Let's make us a plate. Let's make us a plate. Here's the potato that I put on. It gets uh, a little bit of the caramelization or the bottom of the cast iron pan. Take a look. So I just took it from here and at the bottom of it, it gets some of the like, flavor in there, I guess, right? So it's nice like that. What we're gonna do I'm gonna put some roasted potatoes on here. We need we need to bring up the roasted potatoes. And we need to get some of this gravy out of this and pour it on top of this, right? Per kilogram only. So 45 minutes plus 15 ki 15 minutes per kilogram of meat. Okay, good, good, good. The per uh, like uh, the butcher was saying three hours. I'm like, three hours is a long time, man. Three hours is a long time. Wow. Those uh, uh, 
plate lays that makes me feel nostalgic. My grandmother has those. The which ones? Oh, these plates. Nice. <laughs> I want to kick this up to broil because I want the potatoes broiled on top. So I'm going to put a, there's six minutes left on here. Six minutes is good. Actually, I'm going to kick it down to, let's say, uh, timer, four minutes. Four minutes on broil for the potatoes. Okay. Um, I had some broccoli here that I was going to cook up as well, but we'll leave it alone. <laughs> We got some avocado. Okay, let's put a little avocado beside our plate. We need a little bit of greens. We need a little bit of greens. Let's put this here. I do have some salad in the fridge too, but we'll leave that alone. Let's fix this up. Let's use a spoon for this. Now we need a little bit of, we got two minutes, let's do it. We need a little bit of sauce on this. So, let's do this. How are we gonna do this? Where is that big spoon? Nice. So, we need this. All right. We're gonna tilt it, bring the potatoes over. potatoes doing yeah 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 I'm gonna take a little bit of actually we'll put that in our mouth so we don't do that. I'm gonna take a little bit more of this guy I'm gonna take this one actually could cook a little bit longer Very nice, very nice. I'm gonna put a dash of salt on these. Nice. Right. We want. Look at this. <laughs> Heat it up. <laughs> this gets smudgy. It's become smudgy. Uh oh, I smudged it. Hold on, hold on. Let me fix this up. Let me fix this up. Sal, what's the scoop? Super yummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's our roasted potatoes. Let's put this on the side. Bring this over here because the potatoes are done. So. Let's put a 
carrot or two in there. And salt it. And I'm going to salt it in the pan as well. Okay, because you need your potato salted. Nice. And the pork, we're going to keep in there for another, let's go 20 minutes. Okay. So another 20 minutes for the pork and the rest of the ribs. I'm going on a keto diet soon for my summer t-shirt wearing. And I said, oh God, I got to lose a little bit of weight too. I got to lose a little bit too. I see my chicho. Just wondering if you got a smoker or have cooked with a smoker roof. No, I haven't. Uh, I've been trying other foods. Um, others food, they cooked using those. And man, total gain. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it's supposed to be amazing. Lonely for Chicho. Having himself a feast. <laughs> having myself a feast indeed. Potatoes. Mm. Very good. Very good. Damn, he's got real food. And I have frozen <laughs> air fryer carrot. Oh no, air <laughs> frozen food. Don't eat frozen food. Frozen food's nasty. Right? Nice. This thing just comes off the the bones as well. Easy peasy. Right? Very nice. Those ones could have cooked a little bit more. These ones. Wow, so tender. Wow, look at this. Mm. Absolutely fantastic. Look at this. Just the bone comes off. Easy peasy. So at 350, hour and 45 minutes, done. Done. Right? Yes. Sorry, vegans. Very tender, very nice. Mashed potatoes with garlic mushrooms and the sauce on this. So good. Let's put a little bit more. We could put potato starch and make it thicker, but liquid is good. Just the smell is amazing. Absolutely fantastic. It tastes like freedom, enjoy it, indeed, indeed. Ain't bugs. Oh my god, fat Billy Winter is over, yeah. Time to get nipper, yeah. Agreed. I need to do as well. Start going for my long ass walks. So good, Cheryl. Don't be down on an air fryer. Oh, tons of good stuff you can make with an air fryer yeah we have an air fryer toaster here and my partner's uh, 
uh, made some stuff with her air fryer really good. She actually made a steak with an air fryer. I was like, whoa, that was really good. Potatoes, I wouldn't recommend though, like fries. Uh, we tried it and made them a little dry. I seem like, damn, I'm a bit jealous. Had some Michel Michelin's pasta and uh, oh, Henry. <laughs> Hats off to you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Super good. Mm. This is the real fatty one. This one could have cooked a little bit more. This guy. What? Could have cooked a little bit more. But because it was sitting with these guys, I had to take it out. Right? Or we could have taken it out. Cooked it with the other one. Put it back in. Not bad. Not bad. The mashed potatoes are fantastic. So good. The mashed potatoes, so good. Salute, gang. I hope you've had some amazing meals. I hope you're cooking for yourself. Okay. Cheers. Very nice, very nice. Alagata, vegan is a person who has gotten lost in a world of virtual signaling. Possibly. I think some people are okay with it. Some people uh, need to be vegan, I think. Okay. To each their own. Lonely Piggy. I started uh, running more intensely again. So CRCMP call is soon to come. Nice. I've been slacking on that front. Uh oh. Kitchen. Make sure you're eating well in the kitchen, right? Slideways. Hard sear on the steak, though. Air fry can't do that. No, it can't do that. What was it? Walking advice. Elder God, walking advice. Speed is more important than the distance for fat burning. Yeah. Heartbeat has to kick up. One of the things I like with the walking is hitting some hills. As the saying goes, 90% or 80% of fat burning is done in the kitchen. 80% of fat is what you eat. That said, <laughs> this one had a big chunk of fat. See that? Very delicious. <clears throat> Comes off the bone easy peasy. Even these parts are good. The cartridge is it? We gotta try the pork after this. I left this on broil. God damn it. Uh oh, I totally forgot it was on broil. Hold on, we gotta move this guy. Uh oh, 
We gotta move this guy. Uh oh, did we mess it up? Uh, because we got too excited of eating. I'm bringing this baby out. Let's check it. We're gonna nice. 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 Not bad. Hmm. No, it's not messed up. I actually could use a little bit more time. I'm surprised we put this thing in there. So let's put it bake at 400. Boink. Yes, you are. In nine minutes, we're gonna put honey mustard. We're gonna make honey mustard sauce, and we're gonna put it on that, and we're gonna broil it. Okay. Oh my god, Elfo! Oh my god, the food looks absolutely uh, bossing. Sup, Chicho? Hope you're doing well. Doing fantastic, as you can tell. What is it? What is it, Via? So good. The carrots are really good too. Fantastic carrots from CSA. Mm. Very nice. So good. Cast want that fish. The meat juice must flow, I agreed. More juices, more juices. MC Mike, man, I remember my rigging days in the summer last year. My uh, griller would come up to me and say, here's some steaks and need you uh, I need you to cook them. Uh, one of the best parts of the job was rig barbecues. Plus got paid $32 an hour to cook steak. Laugh out loud. Nice, nice, nice. Salute, Ken. We're going to pour ourselves a drink. We're going to grab some more of the mashed potatoes. Elder God. Really nice. Really nice. Maybe they want some pork indeed. Like this part too, like it's fatty, but well, it's fat, but Wine time. This would go amazing with wine as well. But right now, I feel like doing the liqueurs. Very good. Let's make some um, mustard 
and maple syrup sauce for the pork. Okay, and then we're gonna broil it. We have honey and garlic as well that we can use for the other, the ribs, the other ribs, the beef ribs. use the the French one Dijon Dijon mustard Dijon Dijon mustard I tune up on the live stream while on a diet <laughs> Oh, funny, funny. Bowl of yogurt and melon uh, was my dinner. Yogurt is delicious, melon is delicious. I'm literally dying and watching this. <laughs> delicious, delicious. Let's pour ourselves a little bit more. I'm gonna do more grape. Kitty cats are just running around and playing. They're having a blast. We'll put a couple of ice cubes in there too. That is French mustard? That's what you call French mustard? Dijon? Yeah, super delicious. So, French mustard. <laughs> this is a good meal. This is a good meal. Sunday. Ah, very nice, very nice. Let's put the glaze on the pork. First used in 1336 for the table of King Philip the Sixth. Really? Cool. Okay, let's bring this baby out. Two minutes left, that's good enough. I'm gonna bring him out and glaze him. Put him on a glaze of glory. Lots of garlic on top. Okay. And the mustard and maple syrup we put in this one. Put it back in and broil it. 
I'm gonna put it on the meat as well. On the beef as well. Okay. Broil. Stop. Broil. Kick it up. Broil. And we're gonna put a timer of five minutes. Timer. Hey, timer. Let's put four minutes. Ancestors were in France at that time. Haha. <laughs> Just on Swiss border. God damn, I lost. What did you do, Zelf? You can do it. Keep to Oh, keep to your yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep to your diet. No, 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 no. Don't lose your diet then. Keep to your diet. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go bring some mashed potatoes and mushrooms. <laughs> and, and garlic. And put it on my plate. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it on my plate. I'm gonna bring over some sauce and I'm gonna put some sauce on top of this because, well, it needs to be done. All right. Whoop. Because ribs is coming. <laughs> I'm gonna put this over here. baby where's my okay we'll do it with this we're gonna tilt this baby get some of that sauce on our on our potatoes yeah that's what we're talking about Nice. Nice. Then we can put this guy back there. of motivation from elder god where people try and fail we succeed and thrive very yummy very yummy salute gang and do not forget do not forget Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange, publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to make transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity. To me and you. Something that we desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on Censor 2. Peace, gang. Top number 10 gigachad motivation lines. <laughs> no, no, not lamb. We're cooking um, beef ribs, uh, short beef short ribs, and pork back ribs. Uh, micro twist. 17 weeks silver. Awesome. Okay, let's turn this off. Let's take a look at our glazing going on. Oh yeah, ooh, 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 ooh. that looks good. Oh, nice, nice, nice. 
That looks good. We're going to let it go for in a couple of more minutes. That looks good. I'm looking forward to tasting that. <laughs> yeah, super good. We did well. We did well. Did you see the ribs we cooked already? Here, let me bring it over and show it to you. Mashed potatoes with mushrooms and garlic mixed together with the gravy from the ribs. Here's one batch we made. Okay. Uh, baby ribs, baby beef ribs, and just straight up ribs with the thingamajiggy, the big bones. I don't know what you call them. <laughs> All right. The gravy is here, the bottom. Then we're about to bring out the pork and more beef ribs. All right, Cheryl, this almost needs a little berry white narrative. Ooh, <laughs> nice, nice. By the way, Cheryl and gang, uh, we have a piano man living downstairs right now. So it's like lounge music. Lounge piano is very good. He's a professional piano player. So. I don't know if you can hear the piano right now. You won't be able to hear it most likely because of the fan, but there's piano music playing constantly here. So that's one reason I got back into drinking liqueurs and stuff because you feel like sipping on whiskey or cognac and smoking a cigar. It's very good, very good music, very good music. I think he also he's also played i gotta ask him uh, cowboy people uh, uh one of the tunes from cowboy people oh. there's our two minutes sure oh wow i thought i heard something a bit ago <laughs> so different than the mandolin uh, jams though oh my god yeah <laughs> I'm not gonna flip it because last time I flipped them and seared the broil the bottom as well but this time we won't because I don't want to dry them out so let's bring out a new fork take a look nice this is the beef um, we need more <laughs> more space <laughs> let's okay let's move this i'm gonna take these off the plate okay that's hopefully stays that stays nice let's put this in this because i gotta cut a little bit and put it in my plate so we can munch munch and we can turn this off nice. let's see what this is like Oh, this is going to be a little bit tougher. The other one was better. I'll cook longer. Smells amazing, though. All right. So the beef needs more, more time. Let's see what it's like. We'll put this guy in our plate. This is. This guy, take a look, in our plate as well. So this is the beef. Glazed with mustard and maple syrup. This is pork, glazed with mustard and maple syrup. This is the honey garlic. show it to you honey garlic let's take oh, there we go. let's put this guy in our plate nice 
No. We're gonna move these guys and we're gonna put it here. And we're gonna bring our plate back. Because we're gonna do a little munching. Don't flip. I hear a tone or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't flip. So don't flip. That means juice needs to uh, harden. Be frozen and be frozen and add it to auction gift. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's try the beef. Oh, it's pretty tender. Look at this. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Mmm. 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 That was maple syrup and mustard. Very good. Very good something else with the uh, with the glaze so this one is maple syrup and mustard too mm -hmm. very nice very nice super tender super delicious Very good. Cheryl, mustard, mu amazing. Mustard and maple syrup, so good, Cheryl, so good. Mm. Let's try the garlic and honey. Garlic and honey. Let's check it out. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Very nice. Indeed. Very good. Very good. Like this is basically four different flavors flavors of uh, of. Uh, ribs that we just had one of them no just uh, seared actually five i guess seared the other one was just cooked a uh, little bit of no no the other one it, it wasn't seared but it had the the garlic and uh, um, wine right we had maple syrup and mustard and garlic and honey super good mm. I'm slightly drunk at my local gas station with a friend. Greetings, Chan. Greetings, Plutonic Horse at a gas station. What are you doing drunk at a gas station? Salute. Oh, very nice. Alpha, holy. I can feel the numbness from your what is no numbness num, yumminess numbness what do they call uh food wars unami unami i can feel uh feel the unami it's got good una, good um, unami the beef super good really very yummy Let's add a little salt and see. Cheryl, I wonder if the maple mustard would be a good glaze for ham loaf or even uh, meat loaf for that matter. Maybe. Maybe it gives it a nice sweet sweet taste to it. I don't know, meatloaf sweet. Uh, I don't know. Meatloaf sweet would be would that be good? 
Just as a glaze though, so it might work well. Mm. Very good though. Super delicious. Oh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Food Wars rocks. We finished the whole series. I don't know if they're coming out with more, but I think they're done. Food Wars is so good. I want to try some of the recipes of Food Wars. Yummy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Last time I cooked it, I cooked it a little bit longer, and the meat was just rolling off the bones for the pork. This one, it's not rolling off yet, so it could have cooked... Well, it is, I guess. Like, could have cooked a little bit more, but that was good. Very delicious. I do anything to meat, but I won't do that. <laughs> won't do, won't do meatloaf. Is that what you're saying, Elder God? Mm, I mean. mm. Yummy. I thought here in Brazil, pork is very famous. In what we call the puru, pururuca style. When the fat becomes crunchy, ooh, and uh, then eaten with a bit of uh, lime juice squeezed on top. Oh, it's like uh, pork chips. They do that in Cuba. Is that what, you're, what you mean, Alfo? I've had those in Cuba. They deep fry the pork fat. And it's like pork fat chips <laughs> it's it's amazing but wow what a bomb mm. very nice meatloaf will definitely clash with the syrup yeah i can't see it's meatloaf and i don't know like sweet meatloaf wouldn't do it maybe actually no some meatloaf has cranberries in it so i don't know super delicious ham would go good i think ham would go good yeah It's a killer combo, but made most of the time with the belly panquita cut. Cranberry is more sour. Yeah, yeah. I guess it has a sour taste to it. Cranberry and meatloaf is really nice. It is. I haven't made, but I've had. So. Kitty cats ran around, now they're all passed out again. Cuddled up. had my share after we finish this this is good Sunday food fantastic Sunday food mm. 
Mm-hmm. Wow. j pal 3.5 hours late. <laughs> Hello, Chichonal. What are we eating? We're eating ribs? Here, I'll show you. This is what we ended up eating today. Mm. Mm. Very good. Very yummy. Super delicious. We had some pork back ribs with uh, honey and garlic. Glazed with honey and garlic. Pork back ribs with maple syrup and mustard. Beef ribs with maple syrup and mustard. Oven roasted potatoes and carrots. Mashed potatoes with a uh, little bit of butter, uh, mushrooms uh, sauteed with uh, butter and garlic mixed together. Okay. On top of this went the gravy for baby back ribs and straight up beef ribs that we cooked up with uh, we seared these the baby back ribs this these ribs we didn't sear uh, sear them in butter and garlic and then put a layer of uh, wine with bay leaves mint and uh, what do you call that uh, uh, rosemary <laughs> in the wine okay took the glaze of the pan pan fried in uh, pan seared in a cast iron pan with wine poured it on top and then covered them up and cooked the ribs in the oven these guys cooked for about uh, hour and 45 minutes two hours and the other ribs that i showed you cooked for about same amount about an hour hour and a half uh, to hour and 45 minutes okay. super delicious Super delicious. Elder God, I eat meat like it's on. <laughs> it's an Olympic sport. I can consume meat like a human hoover. <laughs> Hilarious. Elder God, 30 minutes from uh, Monday morning. 30 minutes from Monday morning, is it? No. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Good evening. For all of you in the UK, uh, late evening, uh, about to become early morning. And those of you for inland Europe, cheers. Alpha, such exquisite taste in food. If there's a heaven, it must be Chijuana's kitchen. I don't know. Sometimes what I cook doesn't work out, right? This experiment to a certain degree. Like I've never cooked uh, baby back ribs before the way we just did fantastic we'll do it again we'll do it again <laughs> j pal yum i make beef short ribs similar do you oh, nice nice super good i've never done it this way before now we got i eat the pork with some uh, bay leaves and a nice wine nice yeah bay leaves is amazing really it gives it an amazing aroma good for the palates and stuff like really let me take these guys down nice this is uh, this is by the way our first cooking live stream with this new computer 
that we got uh, a few months ago, right? And I realized as soon as I set it up, realized the internal camera for the this computer is not very good. It was all grainy. I was like, oh, I tried to fix it last night. I couldn't do it. So I got three different cameras going. You got this is a ghetto ghetto uh, a camera that I had from years ago, right? Uh, thank God I didn't throw it away. So I got one camera here, one camera here, and the same camera is sitting on top of the computer. So I'm using an external camera even for this. You're supposed to do a chicho lecture, Naldiga. You're supposed to do a chicho uh, lector, lector. Chicho lector, what's a lector? Lector? What's a lector? Alpha, Easter is coming up next week here in Brazil. I'm definitely noting some of the, uh, those sweet savory combos to try. Nice, really. Uh, maple syrup and mustard, Dijon mustard, French mustard. So good as a glaze. Bro, oh, so good, so good. Goes amazing with the pork and amazing with the beef. Oh, fantastic. Oh, silence of the lambs. <laughs> like the, oh, oh, dude. Hannibal Lecter. Chicho Lecter. No, no, no. You're supposed to do a ch Chicho Lecter. How's it go? <laughs> I can't do it. I'm laughing too much. But we eat pork and beef and lamb. <laughs> Salut. <laughs> Salut. And that was a nice liqueur drinking as well. Went fantastic with the food. Went fantastic with the food. Amazing, amazing. Gang, let's call it a stream. Okay. Um... Uh, the odds are no stream next week next weekend uh easter we take a break he needs that. no liqueur doesn't work elbow monka's chicho lector isn't real and cannot hurt you chicho lector Oh my God, sorry, I'd like to be to be vague. Let people find their way to my ideas. Ah, fun. Gang, so we'll um, give me time to upload some other stuff. Uh, so we'll skip doing live streams next week. Uh, and this is the only stream we can do uh, today. It takes a whole day to do these cooking streams. Like I've been up uh, since like uh, 5 o'clock, 5.30 in the morning in the kitchen. Sorting things out, cleaning it up, messing around with the camera and stuff. Got a little bit of cleaning to do, but well worth it. Well worth it. Yep. <laughs> gotta gotta get into spring mode, summer mode. Uh, so fantastic. Easter madness next week. Easter madness next weekend. Easter madness next weekend. So gang, uh, happy Easter. Uh, as my quick outro, uh, if you want to follow this work, I'm on Patreon, I'm on Substack, I'm on Subscribestar. You can follow the work there. For those of you who are supporting this work on Patreon, uh, on Twitch, where we're doing the live streams, and on uh, SensorTube, handful of you guys uh, supporting the work on SensorTube Gang, thank you very much for the direct support. For those of you that are supporting this work uh, through other means, sharing, liking, and other means as well, uh, whatever they might be, uh, cryptos, whatever, there are anything, like joining our Gilded server, just sending out love, gang, thank you very much for the support. I hope you're enjoying these live streams. Mods, 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 thank you for being here. Elder God, Cheryl, you guys, through through storms and tornadoes, through whatever time it is, thank you very much. I know life calls, so I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of love, so I can definitely feel it. So thank you. Salute. We do, we do announce these live streams half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour before we go live on Twitter, Minds, VK Gap, Farther Getter, uh, and whatnot. You can follow the work there. Alpha, thanks for the live, live Chicho. Hope you're having a good weekend and Easter as well. Indeed, you guys as well, and happy Easter, gang. Hope you guys have some amazing times with the family. 
and friends and lovers and partners and maybe even solo if you so wish and we do upload uh, audio of these live streams to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform sure happy easter happy passover and we'll be back before aid yeah we'll be back before aid raid 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 where are we gonna raid oh we got raided street man t is raiding with a party of 50 <laughs> we do our outro we get raided i guess i'm pouring a drink what's up terminator salute 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 slim world sheesh looking good thank you you guys as well thank you for the let's go alliance dance <laughs> we get rid of i guess i'm pouring myself a drink let's pour ourselves a drink and extend the stream for i don't know a few minutes salute salute thank you for the follows for those of you who are jumping on board we just finished here i'll give you guys a lowdown of what we did we cooked pork ribs ribs glazed with uh, honey and garlic pork ribs honey and garlic ribs glazed with uh, maple syrup and mustard ribs <laughs> beef ribs glazed with maple syrup and mustard <laughs> okay oven roasted potatoes and uh, carrots with mint and rosemary okay. yeah super delicious i just spent here here's the remains of what i ate in regards to uh, in regards to where are, where is my videos <laughs> in regard i gotta put on my glasses this is the remains of the ribs that i ate and i a lot of mashed potatoes i'll show you the mashed potatoes and stuff too uh, we had, we had, here's the rest of the ribs. We had baby back ribs, two that you see here, munched on one, with uh, seared in garlic and butter. Uh, the other one's ribs, and then put a layer of wine in the bottom for gravy. Okay, so super delicious, super delicious. The beef was cooked for, let's say, two hours, hour and 45 minutes. You're making me hungry. I'm out full. <laughs> and we made some mashed potatoes uh, mixed with um, mushrooms that, are, that were cooked in butter and garlic. And on... The mashed potatoes we took the gravy from the beef ribs and poured them on top so super fantastic super fantastic to wash it all down with we started off with homemade plum liqueur that we made last year like let's say uh, it would have been fall of last year okay vodka liqueur homemade there's videos out there with it okay and we had a couple of drinks of grape liqueur that we made at the same time as the plum liqueur and these are grapes and the plums i picked myself from a park and the grapes we harvested from our patio from our patio garden and again this is with vodka and sugar so super delicious uh, good way to spend a Sunday afternoon All right jingle bells chicho sorry I missed a lot of uh, chat gang I was uh, <laughs> oh, holy yeah grandpa used to make a bunch of different liqueurs yeah 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 make your own liqueur if I recommend anything make your own liqueurs it's, it's, a, it's a game changer it's a game changer Mustegi bro, you making me hungry and thirsty for that beverage. Nice. Jingle bell, Chicho. Hope all is well. Always remembering that it is, it's just a ride, Bill Hicks would say, right? They can try to make us forget, but we, we know 
that's that's all it is we enjoy it indeed indeed gang indeed indeed da -da -da -da. do you like kicking this is oh yeah halva we forgot the halva what the f gang we also made <laughs> how could we forget this what okay i gotta make some room here hold on a second gang hold on a second we forgot the halva thank you for the raid otherwise we would have left without trying to halva damn okay i'm gonna move this guy okay this is persian armenian halva that we also made <laughs> which is <laughs> which is which is uh it's flour heated up right and then you, we added butter and maple syrup and half of it i covered with chocolate right and this is funeral food funeral halva uh, i've gone to uh, the, known about five people that have died in the last year and on the last funeral that i went i decided to make this funeral food because it was my uncle so i wanted to contribute to um, the funeral and this is like my sex six or seventh time making this uh, so I figured it was time to learn how to make this sunflower seeds yeah we, uh, this isn't the sunflower seed one this is funeral halva it's not the halva that you eat um, here I'll show you I'll show you pop, pop, pop. let me turn this on so you see this because we're gonna is that the one that's the one right so check this out it's not this uh, halva This is the, the sweet halva. This is sweet as well. This is sort of dessert halva that you can buy in stores and stuff. Right? And you can make it home. So this stuff, right? Right? And this is super good, right? Delicious. This is different. This stuff is like shortbread to a certain degree. So my partner said it's like shortbread. But she said it's the most delicious shortbread she's ever had. I'm gonna put on my glasses. Sorry about the chat if I'm not catching it again. There's a lot of chat going across. Let me take these guys down. Uh, right my stomach is craving for some food right now nice we need those pop-up menu screens we do we do so this stuff right we cut it before it cools down i put it in the fridge just to cool it down faster so take a look it's crumbly okay take a look. see this it's crumbly it's sweet, super delicious. Bon appetit, thank you very much. Really good halva. Gang, thank you very much for the follows. I hope it's not torture. Right? So when you cut it, it hardens up and you can take it out like this i'm gonna have some of the chocolate one as well if i can hit the center part look at this oh falling apart on me look at that Super good. You're like, wow. I'm very delicious. I'm gonna pour myself some fresh tea. Because with halva, you need coffee or tea. I 
need it. Approved by Sal. <laughs> Approved by Sal. Need some tea. You gotta finish a meal with tea. So good. How long it take, um, Cassian? It took. Um, it doesn't take long. It takes about half an hour, forty minutes. Heat up the flour. Keep on mixing it. Keep on mixing it. Add the butter. Okay. Mix it all in there. You you have to be constantly mixing it, right? Mix it all in there, and then add the sweetener, whatever your sweetener is. You can use uh, molasses as well. Like a lot of people cook it cook it with molasses or just sugar water i've never used sugar water i'm not going to use sugar water when i can use honey or maple syrup or molasses right so that's all right and the tea and the tea you need the tea oh, wash it all down with right wash it all down with it's amazing it's amazing right gang we're up to the four hour stream good cooking stream good cooking stream uh gang thank you very much uh raider from streetman ttv thank you very much for rating streetman appreciate it salute to the raiders welcome to our live stream uh sorry you made it at the end but i gave you a lowdown of uh, what we ended up making uh, must agree man i wish you were my dad who can make all the good good food it, it takes time I, uh, it took me a long time to to learn this i apprentice under my mom right so and i love food it's meditation like really gang if you haven't gotten into cooking get into cooking it's meditation casey i'm good to see you and thanks for the tips on cooking the hava my pleasure my pleasure salute 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 lots of love gang lots of love again gang i hope you guys have a fantastic sunday and um, i hope you have a fantastic uh easter holiday uh next week and uh we'll do a live stream um, in two weeks latest two weekends okay what is the best recipe you can recommend us to try uh, it depends what you want like what are you what are you into we have a few cooking videos out there that we make the the most one of the things that i make a lot of is cuckoo is uh, taking greens and stuff chopping them up uh, adding egg and flour and salt a little bit of baking soda mixing it in there and then cooking them as if they were like quiche style we have like at least two or three videos online of how to make cuckoo and it's persian cuckoo persian armenian cuckoo but it's a persian dish really uh, so we make cuckoo and i make it persian style as well as armenian style uh, so cuckoo is one of the dishes i make a lot of and you get all your grains and you get protein with it as well so it's fantastic okay aside from that gang salute peace everyone